Computer-generated imagery, or CGI, has allowed for a massive range of new stories to be told through movies and TV. Black holes, dragons, superheroes! Oh my! I used to think CGI was some sort of mysterious nerd magic that could only be made by a powerful supercomputer at a Hollywood studio. I realized that this was an actual career path for thousands of artists across the world. So you see, there's a common misconception regarding how CGI is created. People tend to think effects are just made by computers rather than actual people. Like an Instagram filter, they think we just press a button and poof! Movie magic. <laughs> The Hollywood VFX pipeline, however, is really complicated. First, you need proper on-set data acquisition to feed to the camera tracking department where a bunch of sculptors will then build detailed 3D models to send off to texture artists to make them look real. And once lighting is set, render farms are managed 24 hours a day to spit out clean-looking CGI, only to land on a compositor's desk who performs video Photoshop to blend everything into a final image. <sighs> And if you didn't get all that, it's all right. Just know that every one of these steps can only begin once the previous step has been completed. But if any of those steps break down, those next in line are stuck polishing a turd, as we say in the industry. Normally though, you only ever notice CGI when it is bad. In fact, the best visual effects are never noticed to begin with. They're invisible. But there is one final factor that can really dictate the quality of CGI, and that is time. So in the movie industry where time is finite, artists have to strike a balance. No movie is ever finished, it just gets released. 